Now existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. The Chinese word for nature, ziran, means that which happens of itself. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control over these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. Try to breathe, you know, real hard, and you find you get balled up in your breathing. You've got to let go. to go. Alright. Alright guys. So we are rigging up our poles for some shot right now. So we're gonna be getting rid of this bass gear. Uh, I got a couple lures in mind that I want to try. My dad's going to be trying a broken back Rapala. Um, we've always had good luck with them with trout, so we're going to go ahead and use what we normally stick with. I might be using like a jerk bait, uh, white jerk bait, and I'll show you guys in one second on what style. Get a little situated here. Go ahead and cut that off. All right, so I need to grab. Uh, trout fishing stuff which is in which is in there but uh go back here okay. all right guys so i'm gonna use a shad mimic swim bait. What's that? Just trying to see when we're low speed. Oh, see if we have trolling speed. Two nine. That's it. It's pretty fast. Two nine two eight. I think that's going to be a little, a little too fast. So we're tying on this bait using the palmer nut, and if you're not familiar, just feed the line through itself. Tie, tighten it up, get the bait, push it through the loop, and pull. All right, guys, we are ready to roll. Gonna go ahead and get our pull set in. Yeah, it's steering it. What uh, number are you on in there? What's that? Like 60 or 50. Which way do I need to go? Hair to the right. Hair to the right? All right. Let's get let's get the old man's in. Oh, you might have went too much. You went too much. Alright, one sec. Hold on, let me see if I can straighten it out. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're going 1.2 right now. Oh yeah. 1.3. 1. I I got a downrigger here, but. How far did you say you want to go down? 70? Well, you're going to dive. Remember, your lure dives. I'll put you a little bit deeper than me. How deep are you? I'm 60. I'll put you at 70. Beautiful day, man. Yeah, nice and cool weather, man. Yeah. It's not hot, not too cold. Beautiful weather. What's up, Mr. Adventurers? We're here on the boat again. We're at Lake McClure. Uh, first time at the lake. First time my dad has been at the lake. And uh, so yeah, we got the downriggers in. We are trolling. Trout fishing today. Trout fishing today. I know we did some bass fishing on the Millerton video, guys. And I apologize that we did not catch anything on that video. Um, we already got one hit. But we have gotten one hit so far. So, I mean, once again, it's about just being out here and enjoying the wilderness, man. That's that's all that really matters. I mean, how beautiful, right? Nice and sunny, nice and warm. I'm actually going to be taking this layer off probably here in a minute. But uh, nothing yet, guys. Uh, but hopefully we'll be getting some hits soon. We are working our way into the channel of the lake. There's going to be a nice point that comes around. And uh, my buddy said about 50, 60 feet is where the fish were chasing shad. So that's where I'm at. As you saw on the previous clip uh, of my lure that I'm using, the crankbait. So we're trying that, switched out, different, that swim bite. That don't get using nothing. Using a broken back Rapala. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to say that, but he's using a broken back Rapala. <laughs> German Brown broken back Rapala. So he's trying that out for a bit, and uh, we're trying these lures out, and if nothing happens, we're gonna switch out. And in worst case scenario, we're gonna go to the, um, the drop shot of trout fishing, and we're gonna put on dodging worms so we can hopefully get you guys some action and catch some fish for you guys so but right now we're just mainly going for the big boys so there are probably not as many hits right now oh oh my dad is actually getting a hit right now you just oh. yep you're i think you got here grab the camera grab the camera i think you just i swear you just got a hit i hopefully i think pretty sure it was a hit it was bouncing really yeah I don't think you're hitting stuff in the water. No, nope, I'm not hitting anything in the water. Why don't you slow us down just a hair? And currently it's kind of a hit and a run. Why don't you slow us down just a hair? Slow us down? Yeah, right, just a hair. Yeah, there's no way you're hitting bottom. Hey, you definitely had a hit. There's no doubt about that. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. A little false alarm. Uh, he definitely did get a hit just now, but uh, apparently it must have been a hit and run. Um, it kind of just bump, 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 bounce. But, but anyways, guys, we're going to continue on. And hopefully, uh, if you see us next time, hopefully we'll be uh, reeling in a fish. So, anyways, guys, catch you in a minute. Could just be something on the line, but... Come on, get off the thing. 
unless you're dragging bottom. I don't have anything. I can't see that. Well, watch where you're it's pretty dang. I'm watching, dude. Oh, 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 dude. I don't know if we're hitting bottom or. I can't tell. No, that's a hit. Oh, yeah. I got one, guys. We got fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on, guys. Did he get off? No, he's still on there. Yep, small fish. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That's a good sized fish. Oh, there we go. Dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Hooked. I'm gonna pull him in the boat. Go ahead, pull him in. There you go. Nice fish. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This is why we came to Lake McClure, guys. We heard that the fish was on. That is a decent size trout. I gotta turn on the uh, live well. All right, guys. I need uh, I need the pliers, Cuddy. Oh, never mind. I think I got it. Live well's filling up. Look at that, guys. That is a decent sized fish. So, grab my pole. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, guys, go ahead. Can you open it up the your side? Man, I can't get over how beautiful that fish is. So we're gonna test out. So we're gonna release him. Um, but considering we got a new boat, guys, you can close it. Since we got a new boat, guys, we are uh, trying out the live well. First fish. And really you gotta, excited. You got to make me to the right a little bit. Anyways, guys, hopefully you catch you on the next catch. Sitting here waiting. Waiting on the poles. Got both poles sitting off the back of the boat. We're on our way back through the trough where we got the hits before. So hopefully we're going to be getting some bites here in a few. Um, I'm just glad I caught a fish today. <laughs> I'm just glad we caught a fish today. Me and Cuddy finally caught a fish. It's been an hour and a half. It's been about an hour and a half, yeah. We started off uh, when we got out of the boat launch, we trolled a little bit. We weren't getting nothing, no signs, nothing. So we decided to drop back to the back and uh, come to find out we're not even actually at the back of the lake. We actually only went through a little channel <laughs> that's part of it. But hey, we got a fish going there, so I'm not gonna complain. But anyways, guys, um, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hopefully we'll catch another fish here in a few seconds. And uh, come to find out we're not even actually at the back of the lake. We actually went through a little channel <laughs> that's part of it. But hey, we got a fish going there, so I'm not going to complain. But anyways, guys, um, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hopefully we'll catch another fish here in a few seconds. No, I don't. It was definitely a hit, though. Your lure got jacked up. Had a hit? Yeah, I had a hit, but hit and run. Patrick, you waiting for us to catch a fish? Are you waiting for us to catch a fish? You're gonna get treats, Bubba. You're gonna get treats. Got some debris in the water over here. Uh, yep. I'm trying to steer away from it. nothing I can do about that. It was oh, right no, no, you're good. <laughs> it was a log. It was a log in the water. Ended up tagging my line.
Get your freaking Dodger on there. I'm working on it, man. I had to bring up my nine. And go about 25, no more than 30 feet. Go about 25 feet. Uh, I gotta figure out. Did you spill? Oh, just like a drop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dang it. Dude, you're freaking killing me. <laughs> Put these away in a second. So a leader. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna get a leader. You're gonna do probably about. Where's your tripod? Right here in front. Oh. All right. So we're gonna do basically a leader. You're gonna go about two feet. I'd say probably about. Yeah. Leave enough room for tying, of course. Yeah. But... So give it a little more. All right, so some finger length. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that camera, but so you're gonna be doing a leader about that far apart. Hopefully, you can see it on camera. Roughly about two, two to three feet. feet. Two, three feet, roughly. Two feet. And right now we're at uh, 89 feet of water, so we're good. I don't think we're gonna look, really as long as we stay in the main channel. I don't think we're gonna worry. All right, so. What I do is I usually tie it to the non-swivel side, but I might just tie it to the swivel side. You can go either way. Ugh. Swivel side's the front. Is it? Let me see. You, you, got see the, the you got the swivel side and then you got the... That's, that's the front. Okay, so, sw okay the front. so I was mistaken. So the, sw the side that has the swivel on it is the side you're going to tie the main line to. And then you're going to tie the leader to the other one. So we're just gonna try to get this uh, to, I don't have to get that off, but all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that leader line or the main line, sorry. Just don't wanna make sure I lose my leader. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that Palmer's knot that I always do. Make sure that's sealed. That throat. That's another finger. Dude, do whatever you want to do. Check it out. All right. So we're gonna do the Palmer's knot. So what I did here, let me explain that a little better. So you get the main line, you put the main line through. This is the easiest knot that I can tell you for like lures and stuff like that. So you put the line through, and then you're gonna get the actual end line, the part that's through. You're gonna go back through. And you're gonna grab that loop. So you're gonna have a loop. Oh, good boy. <laughs> you're gonna good grab that boy. loop good and you're gonna grab boy. the end line good and the main line. Ah, you're in the shape. And you're gonna grab the end of the line and the main line together and then the loop. So you get the loop and the main line. Make sure it's, of course. Oh my gosh. What, really? When I find it, when I do it on camera, I can't freaking do it for my life of me. But any time other, I can freaking do it no problem. Well, Jiminy, Jiminy, criminy crickets. Okay, so we're gonna run it through, do the same thing, run it back through, grab the main line and then loop. Once again, get a little more extra line, a little more extra loop. Gonna tie an overhand knot and hopefully do it right this time. And apparently not. Can't tie tie this knot, I've, even though I've done it so many times. So anyways, okay, now we got it. So you tie a knot. Tie a knot. We're gonna go back here real quick. And you're gonna run that dodger through the loop, or whatever you're tying. So you're gonna have that kind of situation. So you got. A loop and the run, line running through it, and all you're going to do is pull the main line. Just pull the main line, and it'll tighten. And also, sometimes it's good to pull the main line and that end line, so that way it can get extra tight. So that's what your knot's going to look like. Cut off the axis. And then bingo. So that's it for that. Now then you get your leader. Unfortunately, you can't do the Palmer's knot with this. So people that don't know is the fisherman's knot. 
is the old fisherman's method. It's the easiest fishing knot. So you're gonna pull the line through. All you're gonna do is you're gonna spin that dodger. You could do this also if you have a problem with the Palmer's knot, you could do this too. So you're just gonna spin it a couple times until you start to see it wrap. And then once you do, you're gonna get that the inline, the inline, and you're gonna go and run it through the bottom in the loop. Jeff's tying 101. <laughs> so you're gonna run it through the loop like that. Get the inline, pull it tight, and the knot will just slide. So there you have your fishing's knot. So now we need to get hooks, which, where are the hooks? Oh, they're in the cubby, I think. Oh. I'm gonna go in there and make a loop. Alright, so that's the way to lake over there. Um no actually well yeah maybe I don't know. Don't don't go by me anymore because apparently I don't know my locations. Okay, I need to grab Okay, so I'm gonna go. Hey, fishing's a little slow. We're waiting. Jeff finally put on his dodger and a worm. I'm in the water! So we'll wait <laughs> to see what happens now. We're gonna go through a uh, narrow spot in the lake, so hopefully we'll get some action. <clears throat> Trying to hit those main channels. Well, he's high killing it through here. Yeah. One just surfaced right there. Yep, that's good. They're starting to feed. <sighs> Maybe they're more shallow. Maybe they're not deep. Uh, I was gonna say, how deep are you? I'm, uh, You're on a dodger and a worm. I wouldn't be no more than 25 feet. I'm 40 feet right now. I'd be like 25 feet. Just telling you. That's just my thought. Now watch him start catching some. We'll see. Gotta do the fish dance. Yeah, I gotta do the fish dance. Yeah, you're doing the fish dance, all Come right. Come on, do the fish dance. Come on, do the fish dance. Do 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 I was looking at my pole going, maybe, maybe it'll work. Mm. Nah, it didn't work. No, you gotta give it a few minutes. See, yeah. the, the, the energy moves from the boat down in the water. Oh, is that what it is? And it, it's uh, got to take time to kind of separate. I, I think the mydol's getting to your brain. That's uh, what I think. Yeah, possibly. I think you're a little delirious. <laughs> Either that or tampoon poisoning. You got something going on. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, man, uncut a rod, man. This is how oh, we are. Oh, Lord. This is how we are, people. We're just glad to have a good time. Gotta talk some smack. Well, so far you're the only one that's really caught one. All right, so, we're we're coming up we're coming up through the channel now, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll catch something. And it's calm. There's no wind. Yeah, it's literally it's dead really, calm. Really, it's just really calm, glossed. except for the boat wake that we're sure. experiencing. I mean, look how just calm. <clears throat> That water is. I mean, just besides the waves, the boat just went by, but yeah, super calm. Ugh. So, anyways, yeah. So we're just chilling. Uh, gonna cruise a little more. If we come across some fish, well, we'll turn the camera back on. So, yeah. All right, guys so unfortunately uh we are done for the day but we did catch that one fish i'm sorry we didn't get any more fish but uh we are going to be doing a live release of him my dad's getting him out of the live hole real quick <laughs> a little little hard to catch uh just a little 
Man, you're having some serious issues there, Cuddy. Uh, he's slimy. <laughs> he's a little slimy. And he's he's feisty. Okay. Let me have him. I got him. Oh. All right, guys. So, so far. That he's is a nice one. A decent one. So, I'm going to get the... I'm gonna get the underwater. Here, let me uh really The release uh, anyways guys if you tuned in and watched the video today thank you guys so much much appreciated we love every single one of you don't forget to like subscribe and we got some more stuff coming up and in the future I guarantee you more fish than you can handle <laughs> we will catch them yeah we're in a rut right now guys I don't know what's going on but uh, Right now, we just have been in a catching rut. And plus right now, all the lakes that we normally go trout fishing that we know, really know the lakes, they're oh, all they're really they're low. super low, so we can't really fish them. But um, anyways, guys, hope you all have a great day and we'll see you on the next adventures of Jeff and Badger. Have a great day, guys.